he who is greatest among you shall be your servant. That's a new definition of greatness. Everybody can be great. Because everybody can serve. You don't have to have a college degree to serve. You only need a heart full of grace. One of the hallmarks of uh, careers in science and medicine is that uh, uh, one who, who makes a lifelong commitment in, in those areas really makes a lifelong commitment to service. We feel privileged to have the opportunity to care for others and that commitment to caring for others is, is something that extends throughout, um, throughout the entire day, throughout the entire week, in fact throughout one's entire life as a professional. It's really what distinguishes us as uh, scientists and, and health professionals and is something that makes our campus so very special. Celebrating Martin Luther King and his legacy is something that is so critical to us here at UMass. Most people who come to work um, at an academic um, health science center are um, at their core people who are interested in service. The medical school was founded with a very public mission in mind um, in terms of health care and, and access to education in the Commonwealth. But that mission over those 40 years has really permeated really into the culture of the school to the point where whether it's faculty, students, or staff members, there's real commitment to service, not just with regard to health care and education, but generally um, in the communities in which we live. UMass Labs for uh, Worcester Area High Schools is really a program designed to bring high school students in and all the people on board at UMass are volunteering their time and their efforts. It really now encompasses um, five um, technical schools and high schools in the Worcester area that use state-of-the-art equipment. They get to work in cutting-edge laboratories. Um, they get to do hands-on experiments. It's fun to watch them. Um, have the same experiences that we have. We really love, really love doing this. My name is Kola Kendale. I am the Community Relations Associate in the Department of uh, Community and Government Relations. And um, I volunteer with uh, Pay Forward, uh, which is, an, is a basketball organization where we uh, coach young boys and girls. Were it not for people volunteering and coaching us while we, when we were young, we wouldn't be in the position that we're in now. I grew up in the, in the city of Worcester and I, I think UMass prides itself in positively impacting the city of Worcester and as someone that is from the city, uh, I think that's wonderful. My name is Patty Lautner. I work with the Computer Services Department. I'm the site manager at the JP campus and I'm also the project manager there. This group is the Boston City Singers and it's a Dorchester, Boston based chorus but it serves kids throughout uh, JP, Mattapan, uh, Hyde Park. It's Boston City Singers where I found my volunteer home. I spend as much time as I can on the weekends and every Tuesday night, Boston City Singers needs a project manager and they need someone to come in and say, how do we set up the project? How do we manage the tasks? So it's a natural fit. We've gotten a lot of really good volunteers that have helped us. A lot of them are really invested personally in helping us grow up, be good people. I get a satisfaction of being with the chorus because so many people love it. I met a group of African families, immigrants. They are originally from the Congo, and they had left their countries because there was war. DES, UMass, we were able to step up, go help people in need, people we didn't know. We saw that there was a need. There was a need. There was and an emergency need. Yeah, and um, you know, we just stepped up to the plate. In the past, I've given to charities. You don't physically get to see what happens to that money or the things that you give. It is such a good feeling that I will always have. It was a life lesson. I'm Christine Pimentel. I'm the manager in telecommunications and I volunteer at the Special Olympics of Massachusetts. It's a charity that's close to my heart and it was a very fulfilling experience. Everyone should volunteer at least once. It gives you such a, a feeling of compassion and it's just a fulfillment that I can't even put into words of how much it's uh, made a change in my life and everybody has time.
deep breaths for me. So my name is Jen McDonald and I am an MD-PhD student at UMass. I'm in my fifth year there. Um, I've been volunteering with the Worcester um, Free Medical Program since before my first year, actually, um, starting in August of 2006. So I'm just going to look in your ears really quickly. It takes a couple hours a night. We're here from about 5.30 until maybe 8.30. Three hours and the payoff that it gives, I think, is, is worth it for a lot of people in their minds. Come on in with me. Every week there's a patient or a couple of patients that come in who really remind us why we're here. Um, we see people who come in who haven't had insurance in years, um, who are just now discovering that they have some sort of medical problem and they can't get into a doctor. And to be able to give them good quality care in a setting that's easy for them to get care and get out of here, um, it's worth it. My name is Sue Young. I work at the Graduate School of Nursing. I'm the Director of Student Affairs and the Academic Administrator, and I do a great deal of volunteer work for the Greater Federation of Women's Clubs, GFWC. It isn't so much that you're giving away something, you're giving yourself, and it's not costing you anything monetarily or anything else, but it's really costing your time, and to have somebody truly appreciate it is just fantastic. Jenna Adams. I'm a project director on the National Children's Study out of the Department of Pediatrics here. And I'm a volunteer in the CASA Project Worcester. And that acronym stands for Court Appointed Special Advocates. Children and children's well-being is important to me. There's a lot of joy in, in doing something that feels worthwhile. It's the everyday folks who are doing the everyday things. Um, and doing the everyday service. And that cumulative effect um, is huge. It's uh, wonderful that we have uh, such a marvelous legacy, that of Dr. King's, uh, to, uh, to use as an example, uh, to use as, as, a, as a mentor, if you will, for, for service to others. Each of us should recognize that, uh, that service to our community to our commonwealth and, and indeed to the world uh, is incredibly important. It's the essence of what we are. If you want to be important, wonderful. If you want to be recognized, wonderful. If you want to be great, wonderful. But recognize that he who is greatest among you shall be your servant.